Welcome back. The Marshall Athletic Department got some pretty good news last night. As the school board approved some major upgrades to the athletic facilities on campus. And these new and upgraded facilities could give the Mavericks an opportunity to set the standard for sports in East Texas. It's been a long time since Marshall's kind of been the standard, uh, but that's what they want to be, and so we're getting back to that. Since 2017, the Marshall Independent School District has been on a mission to upgrade the athletic facilities. In four years, they've installed a state-of-the-art scoreboard, a brand new press box, a weight room that rivals a large university, and now a new 120-yard indoor-outdoor practice facility. For our kids to be able to benefit from, from the, the concept of an indoor, uh, but for our school district to be able to afford one and do it at a state-of-the-art uh, type way is, is really awesome. Coach Greedle said they got the idea from the University of Alabama Birmingham's Legacy Pavilion. But that's not the only upgrades taking place at Marshall, as football, baseball, and softball are all getting new turf. Both softball field and baseball field are going to be getting done as well, and they will both be full fields, um, you know, which is going to be great just for you know, the fact that it's going to be less maintenance. But um, you know, we're going to attract a lot of games here. You know, we're, we're going to be a, a great site for UIL playoff games. The turf being installed is a new state-of-the-art technology with a cooling agent that keeps the playing surface 20 to 30 degrees cooler. We could have done some things differently and, and been a really good uh, facility in, in terms of all of our athletic facilities, but his standard is elite. And so, um, you know, we, we did the best that, that we could, and, and it's kind of putting us to an elite standard in terms of our facilities. And now, uh, as coaches and, and as teams, that's, that's the expectation that we need to go perform at. Now, the new turf on the football field was being finished up this afternoon, while baseball, softball, and the new pavilion indoor facility is expected to be finished sometime in October.